Amen. Bar is open, so let's compare the Connors Stout Porter versus Guinness Draft Nitro mm -hmm. Hey, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And the reason why I am comparing these two stouts simply because these two are currently my personal favorites. The corners, you know, because it has a very complex flavor, it has layers of flavor, versus the incredible smooth and creaminess of the Nitro Search. So I want to see for myself which one would I prefer. And the Connors Stout Porter is retailing at around $5.40 Singapore dollars per can. For that, you will get a 490 ml can with 5% alcohol content. Whereas for the Guinness Draft Nitro Search, excluding the Nitro Search device, this is retailing at around seven Singapore dollars per can. For that, you will get a bigger can, like so, which is 558 milliliters at 4.2% alcohol content. But if you convert both to about 490 ml, they are very similarly priced. This is about 540, this is around 550. So almost no difference in pricing. And they both have instructions on how to pour. I will start with the Guinness Draft Nitro Surge simply because I need to use the device and wait for a minute followed by the Corners Stout Porter and for the Guinness Draft Nitro Surge I have to open the chilled can connect the device activate the device pour at a 45 degrees angle into a Guinness glass and then stop pouring once it is 3 quarters filled leave it for a minute and then pop it up. The corners, however, is a little bit different. I have to shake before opening, and I have to shake until no sound to get a creamy head. So to be honest, I'm not going to shake it here. I'm going to do it in the kitchen sink. So starting with the Guinness Draft Nitro Search, open the can. There's actually a dent here in the device, so put that over the opening of the can. Switch the on button and you will notice a white light from the top. Once that is activated, tilt and pour. Right, so tilt the can here. You can see the surge happening. Slowly straighten the glass and pour till three quarters. Wait for a minute before you top up the rest. And while we wait, let's do this. And that's why you don't open it in the room. And it's been about a minute to top up the balance. This time around, I didn't have to switch on the Nitro Search device, just let it fill up naturally. I think I'm going to receive comments that I didn't pour the Nitro Search Guinness properly. I'm no bartender, I'm not the best pourer, I'm just really interested in drinking. Now, color wise, both are beautiful, beautiful stouts. A nice black, strong color. You know, it just makes you want to take a sip immediately. But I'm a professional, so I will describe the smell first. Starting with the explosive corners. Now, I don't have a corners pint glass, but you know, we'll just make do what we have. And the scent wise, it smells a little bit like a mix of dark chocolate and coffee. It has that scent, um, you know, it has a very roasted smell. It comes across as a rough scent rather than a smooth stout. So I, I remember it's supposed to be smooth, but for now it just smells a little bit rough. The Guinness, on the other hand, it's so beautiful, I don't even want to touch the glass. I'm just gonna smell from here. 
It just smells smoother, creamier, but smells lighter as well. Uh, where, where the Connors had a very strong, robust smell, the Guinness comes across as lighter and smoother. Now, I do have water prepared at the side to cleanse my palate in between the glasses. So rest assured, this is going to be a fair test. And because the foam has already disappeared from the corners, let's start with that. Taste test one. As I'm tasting it now, it has a very burnt, uh, roasted malt flavour, very pronounced. In fact, it's so strong that it's actually a bit rough on my tongue, a bit rough at the tip of my throat as well. It's not a very smooth stout, but it's a very strong, robust one. Although, after you swallow and you breathe out through your nose, the, there's that coffee smell, coffee taste coming out through your nose. So, nice layers in a stout. Very enjoyable. And now the Guinness Draft Nitro Surge. The Guinness Draft Nitro Surge is different. Where the corners comes across as sweet because of the, the dark chocolate, comes across as a bit sweet because of the, the roasted, uh, burns roasted malt flavour. The Guinness burns and, and roasts those malts and hops until they become bitter. There's this beautiful, smooth and bitter malty taste. You know, it's just really bitter uh, from the middle of my tongue all the way down to my throat right now. It's just pure bitterness, but it's the enjoyable, smooth, creamy bitterness. It doesn't come across as having that many layers as the corners. It's a little bit more one-dimensional. When I say one-dimensional, I think what Guinness wants is probably to have this burnt malt where it becomes bitter, so there's that malt, bitter malty taste. But yet, it comes down smooth and creamy just all the way down. If that's the brief, then this is an excellent one-dimensional beer. This, they did, they had one thing to do and they made it perfect. If I were to choose, and this is a tough one, I will say that the corners is probably good on a warm day. Keep it really chilled, drink it when it's cold on a hot day. You know, you just feel comfortable. You just feel a little bit more refreshed because it tastes like a sweet drink to cool you down in a warmer weather. The Guinness, however, will suit any day, any time, any weather condition. Cold, warm, wet, dry weather, doesn't matter. This will match any occasion. And with that, I will prefer the Guinness Draft Nitro Search. Hey there, thanks for watching. Up to this point, I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal tastes, preferences and opinions. They are not to be used as an industry standard. I do however want to find out what you think. Which one would you prefer? The Connors Star Porter or the Guinness Draft Nitro Search? Drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do have me click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell because I upload two new videos every week. And if you know of anyone who enjoys watching such reviews, do help me send them the link to this video as well. Most importantly, my friend, happy drinking!